A viral video shows the moment a group of fraternity brothers prevented protesters from removing an American flag, wanting to replace it with a Palestinian flag on North Carolina's campus. This moment has garnered a lot of outside attention. Conservatives are calling the young men heroes for holding the flag up to prevent it from hitting the ground. Groups have raised hundreds of thousands of dollars for the fraternity, which is becoming a poster child for the right side of the conflict on campuses. There's little doubt these protests have become a flashpoint for political ideology, not just when it comes to sentiment over the war in Gaza, but beliefs in general. While young people tend to lean more liberal, there's a widening gap in how men and women perceive political issues. Polls show young liberal women outnumber liberal men by 60 percent. Forty percent of women 18 to 29 years old say they're liberal. 21 percent are conservative. For men, 25 percent consider themselves liberal in this age bracket. 29 percent of men say they're conservative and 44 percent are moderate. The college age demographic as a whole is often seen as a given for Democrats. In 2020, Biden won 60% of the youth vote. But the conflict in the Middle East could be hurting Biden's chances with young people. A new CNN poll out this week shows Biden 11 percentage points behind Trump among voters 18 to 34 years old. 81% of voters in this age group disapprove of Biden's handling of the Israel-Hamas war a sentiment that is currently playing out on college campuses. Kara Rucker, Straight Arrow News.